So, Cherry Blossom Body Cream Phase 1. We're going to turn this, which was picked the other day, you'll have seen in previous video, into something similar to this. However, we first have to create the Cherry Blossom Hydrazole and that's what we're going to do in phase one. This is a water-based product, so if we were creating an anhydrous product, which is oil and butter, not dairy butter, it's um, special butters, like similar to many different butters, that's shea butter. We'll be using shea butter for this one. Just an experiment. May or may not work, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We have to start with creating the cherry blossom hydrazole. So, we don't have a still here. So we're going to have to improvise. So what we're doing, we have a pot. We have a stand to put in the pot. Because what we'll have to do is put the cherry blossom in with the distilled water and then catch the hydrazole as it cools down. You'll see, I told you there was a point to going out in the cherry blossoms the other day. So we will start by putting in the cherry blossom. We have the stand, we'll put the cherry blossom in. There we go. We'll put in some distilled water. Just for effect. <laughs> um, here we are. Now, in the name of the Lord, don't ever drink distilled water. It's dangerous. The water we drink is has minerals in it, which our body needs. This stuff is completely clinical stuff. It's it's distilled to within an inch of its life so don't drink it it'll upset your system your ph and such like it's dangerous don't drink it and don't try any of this at home this is this is just an entertainment video all right do not try this at home hydrazole container there we go the lid that we're going to be using, that goes on top. What we also need, I'll just poke that cherry blossom down a bit, it's too, it needs to be lower down. There we are, make sure it's in the water. I might put, I think I might put more water in, I think. There we are, might as well use it. Now, the process of making the cream, I'll probably put on time lapse on a different video because that's quite a convoluted process and it's probably not that interesting to watch. I'm not saying this is particularly interesting, but it will be a quicker video than the other one. So we're just doing this today. I'll do part two, maybe tomorrow. I have a science lecture later, so I have to focus on that a bit for today. Anyway lid, just a normal pot lid. And yes. ice. This is quite a long process as well. So we're, if you could hear me over that, this is quite a long process as well. It takes oh, over half an hour to, to let it ferment and infuse, let the water infuse properly with the, the cherry blossom. Um, but I'll just set it up and then the next video will be about making cream. Now, whoops, it is easy. Ice everywhere. <laughs> now, For those of 
you wondering, the ice, incidentally, if you remember chemistry class at school, to distill something, you need to heat it up and cool it down. So this is how we're doing it. Obviously it would be different if I had an actual still. However, this is a very crude way of doing it. But it does work. I've tried it many times. And been very successful with previous body creams and face creams. However, we'll fill that up. Now cherry blossom, I'll just put this back. Now you have to keep, um, this obviously melts, so you have to keep replacing it. I won't bother showing you that, it's not particularly interesting. As I say, it's a long process. Now, we'll turn this on, will we? There we go. So we have to heat that up gently. There we are, off it goes. Now, cherry blossom. For those of you wondering about the big deal of cherry blossom, it's extremely good for the skin. It aids skin repair and regeneration. It, it helps the, the skin barrier. Um, it brightens the skin tone. There's antioxidants in cherry blossom. There's also health benefits to it as well. People in Japan, they'll drink it as tea, but we're not doing that today, um, obviously. But it has many, cherry blossom has Sakura, as it's known in, in Japan, has many health benefits. But for skin, it helps to repair the skin barrier. Biggest organ in the body is the skin. We must look after it. It brightens the skin tone. Makes you look younger. It does aid anti-aging. It's or it does aid. It adds aid anti-aging. It's the right way to say it, I think. Um, and so there we have it. Off it goes. We just have to wait now, and I'll come back every so often and check and replace the ice. And there we have it. We'll soon have cherry blossom hydrazol, and then we'll be ready for phase two. Stay tuned.